See if I can make this bigger. Mute everybody. Oh, hi, Bailey. All right. I've got everybody muted so far. So let me see. Can you help me unmute people, Ro? Yeah. No, a mute all is what I want. Where did you do that? I just went right to the microphone. Hey, hey Papa. Hi. Here. Uh, gonna... Can you hold on? Yeah, I'm gonna take him. Oh, I can do that. I just want to figure out how to unmute all of the Thing before showed me how to unmute all. There's Gemma Bailey. Hey. As you saw, Brady was there for a second, but then he had to go because he was messing with the keys. All right. Um, series with Hi. There's Carol. You up Hello. Carol? Speaker, same system. Okay, then I'm not seeing all but anymore. Yeah, uh, Brady, Brady will be back after he gets his uh, diaper changed. Okay. All right. How's everybody doing? Did you sleep last night? Uh, yeah, I slept really good, but uh, for for many days I got really scared because of all the tornado warnings. Glad you guys are all safe. Yeah, um, mom just let me stay on my tablet, so uh, maybe it would distract me from the tornadoes because I really don't take tornadoes good. The tornado didn't hit us. Eliza and Colton, can you hear me? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. The tornado didn't get to where we are, so we were fine. Hey, Lee, try talking so I can hear you. Hello. Broke up a little bit. Try a little louder. Hello. Is that better? A little bit. You may have to. You may have to yell. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're gonna start real quick. Make sure. Okay. So I'm Nikki. Obviously, do you guys remember me? <laughs> yes. All right. So, and this is your virtual jump. All right. And it's great to be here. I'm glad you guys are all safe. So I'm going to open with a word of prayer and I'm actually going to mute you guys. So that way I don't get any more feedback. All right. Hold on. I'm going to mute all real quick. There we go. So go ahead and bow your heads. We're going to go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord, that we can come here and meet virtually so that we can still see each other's faces. And Lord, I just thank you for protecting everyone last night and um, just keeping everyone safe, Lord. And we also ask for your um, hand of protection during this time of uncertainty, Lord. Just keep us safe. And we just thank you for everything that you have provided so far. In your holy name we pray, amen. 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 So I'm gonna unmute you now. All right. Okay, now you're all unmuted. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm unmuted. All right, so this month, you guys remember what we've been learning all month long? Starts with an F, shout it out if you know it. Forgiveness, right. Forgiveness. So, 
I kind of forgot there. <laughs> Forgiveness is a real DIY. Do you guys remember what a DIY is? Do it yourself. Do it yourself. Right. Do it yourself. And it's a project. So forgiveness is not the usual way like fixing up a house though right forgiveness is a way that we can fix up our relationships with one another and we need yeah. God's help to do it so forgiveness in case you forgot our definition is forgiveness is deciding that someone who has wronged you does not have to pay so we're gonna, give you a game. I'm gonna give you like two minutes to do it all right so do you guys know what this thing is you have to use it around your house. Yes. What yeah, is a plunger. Plunger. plunger? Toilet plunger. What do you do with it? <laughs> you have to plunge your toilet with it. Yeah, and you want to plug it, right? <laughs> Sorry. This is a real DIY right here. So, game is if you can find one of these in your house, whoever finds the most in their grade level wins, all right? I'm going to give you two minutes to find one and bring it back, all right? You can leave your tablet or whatever wherever you're at so you don't cut out and just bring it to your screen, all right? So here we go. On your mark, get set, go. I need to leave go. because go my it. because we're getting ready to do the story so all right that was an amazing the plunger actually is an amazing invention in case you ever have to use it when you're older because it unclogs things so um which is usually gross but sometimes our relationships get a little messy and so this is why uh, we need to unclog our relationships sometimes. So, all right. So today we're going to let Lee tell the story. So I'm just going to unmute Lee only. So let me find her. And you guys stay muted unless she needs you to talk. All right. Are you unmuted, Lee? Her name. There you go. Can you hear? Okay. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear her. Can you hear? Thumbs up. All right. Yeah. Okay. Have 
a little help with me today. So, I'm glad everybody is safe and hopefully not. So it's great to be with you. And today we are picking up where we left off in the story that Jesus told. We told the first part of the story last week. So today we'll look and see what happened next. When Jesus wanted to share something important, he often told a story to explain what he meant. There were some religious leaders who were upset because Jesus chose to hang out and eat with people who had done wrong things. Jesus knew that these leaders were better than everyone else. So Jesus told a story of a man with two sons. We told the first part of this story last week, so let's review it. Last week, on the man with two sons. Okay, so there was a father who had two sons. The younger son had asked for his share of his father's money. He took off from home and wasted all the money on whatever he wanted. His money ran out and he ended up miserable with a job where he was feeding pigs while he started it. His money ran out and he ended up deciding to head home to beg his father for mercy and ask if he could live as a servant. Well, guess what? The father had been waiting for his son to return. He welcomed the son with open arms and even for a huge party in the son's honor. It seemed like a happy ending, but Jesus wasn't finished with the story yet. So neither are we. So we have a son, and a father. There's the father picture. So the father has a picture holding a sign that says, oh, son. And the father, or the son, has one that says, oh, that. Okay? So, now son. Wow. Uh. And now, uh, that, right there. there you go. So, and then, every time I say the word party, you all get to say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, if you don't want to say, oh, yeah, you can do party hands. Oh, yeah. So, let's pick up the story. My older son... <laughs> in the field. When he came near the house, he heard music and dancing. He asked the servant what was going on. The father said, now son. After a party. The audience says, oh yeah, party! Oh yeah! The father, now son, had thrown the party. Party! Oh yeah! Because the younger brother has come home. The older son was angry and refused in the party. party. The father, now son, went out and begged the son to come in. Here's the conversation that happened between them. So let's pause just a minute with our oh yeah while we read this, okay? Because this comes from Bible. Look, all these years I've worked as a slave for you. I've always obeyed your orders. You never gave me even a young goat so I could celebrate with my friends. But this son of yours wasted your money. Now he comes home and you still the saddest pack. The father said to his older son, My son, you are always with me. Everything I have is yours. But we have to celebrate and be glad. This brother of yours was dead, and now he is alive again. He was lost, and now he is found. That's where Jesus ended the story. We don't know what happened next with the father, or the son, or the younger son, or anybody else who was at the party. Jesus didn't tell us that the older brother listened to his father. Did he choose to come inside, forgive his brother, and join the party? I hope so. 
I know that if he stayed on the outside, he would miss out on so many good things. When we don't forgive, we miss out on what God is doing in our lives and in the lives of the people around us. When you don't forgive, you miss out. Can you say that? When you don't forgive, you miss out. Sometimes we don't feel like forgiving someone. Maybe we think it isn't fair. We don't feel like they deserve forgiveness. But the truth is, all of us have messed up. All of us needed forgiveness. God wants us to experience the joy of being forgiven. And he wants us to be able to forgive others too. So let's pray and ask God to help us to forgive. So get ready to pray. God, it's so clear when we think about Jesus' story that you want us to forgive. It's good for the person we forgive, and it's good for us, too. We were never meant to say angry and frustrated people. Please help us not to be unforgiving like the older brother was. Help us to forgive others like you forgive us, so we don't miss out on all the good things you're doing in our lives and in the lives of people around us. We love you, and we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Lee, for telling things. the story. Um, so sometimes I think all of us can think like the older son in Jesus' story. We get angry with people, and we don't want to forgive. Instead, we want to get even with other people. I'm sure some of you who have siblings can relate. You're like, they did this to me, so I'm going to do that to them. So um, instead, we, uh, we don't need to be doing that, right? So we need to remember that forgiveness is deciding that someone who has wronged you doesn't have to pay. Forgiveness means choosing to let go. Um, the truth is forgiveness needs to come from your heart. It's not something you do because you have to. It's something you choose to do because you know it is best. So don't hold things against people. If you do, you're going to miss out on that relationship with that person. So from the very beginning, God had a plan to fix our relationship with him. He sent Jesus to be our savior. And because of what Jesus did for each of us, we know we can have for, find forgiveness when we talk to God, no matter what we might have done wrong. So God wants to help us fix our relationships with each other. It's important to forgive others so you don't miss out on those friendships because it's true that when you don't forgive, you miss out. If your best friend hurts your feelings, do you really want to walk away from that friendship? No. Of course not. You forgive because Jesus forgave you and also because you don't want to miss out on all the good things that can happen when you and your friend make things right again. So when you have a chance to forgive someone, don't miss out. Treat them the, one, the way you want to be treated and forgive. Don't be afraid to join the party, right? Say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So I'm going to unmute you all. And we're going to say hi to each other. All right. All right, you're unmuted. Anybody have anything they want to share? Uh, right? uh, I can't see you. <laughs> I know nobody can see. You. Oh, hello, Colton. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Have been watching your videos at home? Huh? You guys been watching your videos at home? Yeah. 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 What? What? Where are you? Oh, well, there you are. Oh, you're right next to each other. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Elijah says, what? Colton, what? Colton says Elijah. What? What? <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? Oops. Oops. All right, guys. Do you guys have anything they want to say? Uh, no. <laughs> um, how did you become big? Bailey, I think you uh took your video off. Uh, I don't know how I did it. Oh, what? What? How'd you make it big?
Naomi, or Naomi's pregnant, Daisy Kennedy. Hi. Daisy, you need to get Abigail on this. Huh? Oh, there's Bailey. All right, guys. Everybody wave. I'm going to end the meeting unless you have something fun to say. Rack and smile. How about you have our gallon time? Bailey loves chatting. She's over here. Yes, chatting. I do. <laughs> All right, everybody wave. I'm ending the meeting. It was good to see everybody. Bye. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye.